Hello, hello, welcome back everyone. And today, I'm going to talk about my top five favorite magic tricks to do at school. So let's get right into them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over some real quick tips or something. So first, don't do your magic tricks every single day because some people don't wanna see that. However, some people do like magic tricks because it fascinates them. So some people may get sick of them, some people may love them. So mostly just perform for those who love them. And also you will probably get some hecklers or something because they are students and they like being able to catch you on your magic tricks. And also sometimes people may not want to see your magic tricks because of different things. Like again, they're sick of them or they just don't care or you're not very good at them. And if you're not very good at them, I practice. But yeah, just get those done and everything will be great. All right, I wanna make it clear that this is my personal top five list. So you, you can agree with it, you don't, you can agree with my list, you don't have to, I honestly, don't care if you do or not. I'm just saying this is my favorite tricks. So, starting with number five is the classic card to mouth trick, but they don't know it's a card to mouth trick. You show them a card, you ask them, you bring it over, you ask them to push it in. And where the card go? It's in your mouth. So, tutorials for most of these magic tricks should be in the description below. So that's number five. All right, and number four. This trick is called the Chicago Opener or the World's Greatest Magic Trick, that kind of stuff. And it looks like this. Somebody chooses a card. Let's say they choose this one. Oh wait, actually, then they look at it, then they return it to the middle. I don't have anybody here with me. But then you ask them to think of a different color and if, like you tell them the color. And then their card should be the color you told them to pick. If they turn it over, that's their card. Then you take it, their card, you can put it on the ground, have them step on it, something like that. Then you tell them to stop wherever they want and they pick a new card. So let's say they stop here. This is their new card. Again, you ask them to think of the specific color. In this case, it was black. And you don't see another black card because there's only one black card. And again, it's their card. The third trick, I just call the ten, the tens trick. So you pull out a number of cards, preferably about 10 cards, and you ask your audience, how many cards does this look like? And they should say about 10-ish. And you put it down, they make a pile. Like you, they, you ask them to try and pick 10, they pick up about 10, and then you ask something like, who's closer, me or you? Then you can have somebody else or the same person pick 10, ask them the same thing, who's closer of uh, these piles. Then you have one more person pick 10. And then you kind of misdirect them and be like, if there are 52 uh, 
cards in the deck and everybody picked 10 cards, even if they didn't, there'd be, there should have been 40 cards here. Not all these piles might be in frame, but there's four different piles here. And then 52 minus 40 is 12, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's obviously not 12 cards, but each pile actually has a 10 on top because I said pick 10. That's my third favorite magic trick. My second favorite magic trick to do at school is actually by David Blaine himself. So you take the any black ace, in this case it's the ace of clubs that is on top, then you have them to hold it like this. I don't have anybody hold it, so I'm just gonna stick it right there. Then you show them the ace of spades. Mine is actually upside down, so I'm holding it like this. And then what you do is you take the ace of spades, you slowly switch. Oh boy. Then you show the ace of clubs. Then you do a quick switch, and then you, uh, they usually look at the their card, confused like, what just happened? And then you can ask them which black case is on top. Sometimes they might think you switch it. Sometimes they think that that was way too quick. But then once they turn them over, it was actually not the aces at all. Now, my all time favorite card trick is called the magnet or the detective's card trick. It's actually no, completely no setup, and you can just go up to somebody and ask them, what's your favorite playing card? So let's say they're, they're standard people and they like the ace of spades. So you get the ace of spades and it's a uh, other colored partner like this, and then you give them to it, them, and then you ask them to pick a card. So let's say they picked this one. I promise I'm not looking at it. Then you can have them return it to the middle, like that, or something. And then I like to look for it, but you can do a pass if you are able to, but I'm not able to. So I just pretend to look for it. And then I say I don't find it, so I get their two favorite cards. And then I like to, and then you toss them over. So since the two black aces are like magnets, given the name, it actually finds the spectator's card. And in this case, it was the Jack of Spades. All right, so now let's get into why I like these tricks. Now I like the card to mouse trick because it really just fools your audience. It kind of makes them feel stupid whenever they uh, don't realize that you switch the cards. And it also, if you can do this fan, it shows some skill. And it's just fun to do. And it gives people, it makes people laugh too. And then my fourth favorite card trick was the the color change and I only have that at number four because it really fools some people too but you do need two different decks if possible and sometimes not everybody can do that but it really does have a good reaction and it makes people surprised that they think you switch the cards or that it just changes into a different card that they picked. And then the third trick, which was the tense one, I really like because it's got a good reaction too, and multiple people can be involved, and it's just easy to do, and most people don't notice it, at least the first time they don't. And it's cool to, it kind of makes them think 
it kind of, no, it kind of throws them off guard that all the piles have a tent at the top, and that all they were just focusing on was just trying to get ten cards, but they didn't realize that there was a tent on the top. And then my second favorite magic trick was David Blaine's a card trick with the aces and what I use the queens and it also fools people and they're surprised that they don't expect it to end that way they didn't expect that kind of magic and that's got really good reactions sometimes people are confused sometimes they are just surprised that kind of stuff and then again my number one favorite magic trick was the magnet magnet or detective's tricks and I like that because it's impromptu and it still gets the same kind of good reactions. I haven't mastered my past though. So I have to just look at the cards and sometimes people may realize what I do, but not all the time. But these are just my favorite magic tricks that I think are really good to do at school and for all your classmates and your friends. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit all the buttons, except for the dislike button. And if you want to, leave a comment. And next week, I should have some top, another top five list of my favorite car history moves to do at school. Uh, but until then, see you later.